Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, we're gonna be covering the third way to edit forms on ServiceNow um, that we've done for our mini series here. The first video we covered form layouts, second video we did form design, and in this video, we're gonna be covering form builder, which is the newest way to edit forms on ServiceNow. Now, all you gotta do is come over to your selected form on ServiceNow that you're trying to make changes to. Right now, we're on the user table on a user record. And if you right click on the subheader, or if you come over to additional actions, you can go over to configure. And from there, you want to go to Form Builder. And as soon as it loads, it's going to take you to kind of a, a little sneak preview of how your form is going to look. Now, let's go ahead and explore some of the different features. Now, we have fields. So these are all the existing fields that we have on the user table that we can apply to this form if we want to. We can also create a new field as well. So we just have to click on Add a Field. Um, add a field in the table. And then from there, you would just name your field. Um, you could name the, uh, select the type of field. You can do advanced settings, such as making it mandatory, read only, uh, et cetera. Okay, so let's say that we want to add in the comp, the city for the user, and we also wanna add in the building for the user. So we can do it from here. So we have building right here and we have city right here, or we could come over to the form. And then as you see, you highlight any one of these, um, almost, I guess you'd call them cells, uh, fields, that you get the option to add below or uh, below here or above. You can also drag and drop. So you can drag and, and change the order this way just by hovering over this icon right here, move field. You can remove it from the form by selecting delete field. So let's add in, well, right underneath title. So let's do add below. We'll do the building and we'll also do the city. And then you can add in multiple fields at the same time if you want to. You can search for the different names of the fields. But we are good to go with those two. So let's hit add all two fields. And we're like, oh, great. We got the fields that we want. But maybe we want the city on top of building. Let's just drag and drop it. Now city is on top of building. And you can scroll through this different section, make changes as needed. Yeah, it's a great feature. I, I much prefer this over uh, form design. So this is a... Uh, a very great, uh, helpful feature for users who are trying to make changes to forms and not having to go back into the form like, oh, it doesn't look the way that I want. It right here is going to give you a great, great view of how the form is going to look for, for the user. Okay, so let's say we want to add in a new section. So let's come over here to components and we could just drag and drop a new section. But let's see if it gives us the ability to do it just by clicking on add section down here. And it does. So look at that. It's almost like SharePoint. Those of you that are familiar with SharePoint, it's a very similar setup when you're making changes to your SharePoint site. So now we have a whole new section at the bottom. So we can add uh, additional fields there. And then that way we're kind of able to separate the sections in case you have a lot of different fields on the table. You don't want it to look like a big cluttery mess. So we can configure the section. Oh, does it not give me any features here? Oh, there we go. Sorry, it's off to the right. So then we can make it either a one column section or a two column section. Uh, we can name the section. Um, but let's say let's come down here and we want to add in some additional fields. So let's do, let's maybe do like an admin type section. So we want to know if they're VIP. We want to know who recently updated the form. We want to know their roles their primary assignment group, which we removed in a previous video. <laughs> and what else do we want? Employee number, maybe employee number. And that should be good. All right, let's add all five fields. As you can see, it's a single column, but all we gotta do is come back over to the section. And now we can make it two column. And then for this one, we're going to move it down because it is a checkbox. It's not going to align with the other fields. No, oh, I guess this one isn't compatible. So let's remove it. Okay. So now we have our updated by. So that'll show the most, um, the person that most recently updated this profile. We have the primary assignment group and we have the employee number. Doesn't really make sense, guys, but, you know, just giving you uh, an, an idea for your use cases. That's how you would create a new section. Okay, so let's also click on the section again, and let's rename it. So we'll just put it as admin section. Okay, looks good. Let's hit save. 
preview. Component, oh, there we go. All right, so this is kind of how it's gonna look for the user. We'll refresh our um, our page because we still have this one open. So we'll refresh this too, because that'll give us the exact uh, look that it's gonna be for the user. But the preview section just gives you another um, glance, I guess, of how it's gonna look, which is gonna be very similar to how it's gonna look on the actual form itself. So this is our new section, our admin section. And we can collapse it or we can open it back up. And then back over here, if you want to make any more changes, you can. But it is that simple, guys. It is very intuitive and easy to use. Just like the other ones, the form layout and form design are also very easy to use. But um, Form Builder is definitely the most robust in case you're trying to make a lot of changes at once. It's probably going to give you your, your the most bang for your buck and save you the most time. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. As we wrap up here, let's refresh and see our changes. And there we go, we have our admin section. And again, you can still um, collapse it or expand it out if you want to. But it's always helpful to have different sections if you have a lot of different um, stuff going on on your form, just so that it's easier for the user to be able to see, oh, okay, this top section here is my details. The, the bottom section down here is maybe the request details, You know, if you're trying to restructure your inc incident form or your change request. So um, whatever makes the most sense for you and your users and your environment, um, you have the ability to make those changes using form design. Um, but form form layout and form builder, you know, you have all those options available to you. All right, guys, uh, like I was saying, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you all in the next video very soon.